Shalom. Today we're going to talk about the clergy visa, the A3 visa to Israel. My name is Joshua Pex. I'm a lawyer at the law offices of Cohen Decker Pex Brosh, and we represent clients in all issues of immigration and citizenship visas to Israel. And today we're going to talk briefly about the A3 visa for clergymen or religious people. So as you know, Israel is the birthplace of many religions. Everyone knows about Judaism, Christianity, and Islam that are all centered or have holy places in Israel. But you also have different various religions. Also the Baha'i, for example, have their center in Israel and the Druze, there are other religions. And any religion organization that has followers, believers in Israel, has also theoretically the right to request a religious person, a clergyman, from abroad to come to Israel in order to serve their community of believers in Israel. So, as you can imagine, there aren't that many clergy visas issued each year, but there is a procedure, and even the law of entry of Israel has a visa category for this particular type of visa. So, if there's a religious organization that wants to send a representative to Israel, first of all, they need to get the approval of the Ministry of Religious Affairs. After they get that approval, they have to prove that the specific clergyman that they chose also has the right credentials, right? That they have academic uh, certificates or any kind of credentials that they actually fit the criteria and can serve in this position. After you pass these two hurdles, you can apply for the visa itself, which is issued for one year each time for a maximum of five years. Certain cases, it can also be extended after that. The last thing to know that this religious person that gets the A3 visa can also grant a visa to Israel for the wife or husband and minor children until the age of 18. So they can all come as a family and reside in Israel. It's not easy to get the clergy visa and the Ministry of Religious Affairs doesn't approve any organization. But if you have any questions, we'd be happy to hear from you. Thank you for listening.